Can you see this? It's supposed to be coolant. You can guess how this happened. You probably already know. I used two long bolts when mounting a gearbox to this engine and broke the, not the ceiling, but yeah, the metal thing between where the threads are and where the coolant goes in the engine block. And this is the result. I don't know what it looks like now. I swear this was, it was like pure coolant. Hopefully, now I hope that it just, you know, debris or something from the engine block, which makes this color so dark. I need your help, the people on the internet. Previous, there has been people in the comment section on my videos sometimes, which have a lot of knowledge, at least combined to my knowledge. You guys have a lot. So my question is, you see what happened. Is this engine block something I can keep, you know, fix this? Do any of you have any tips on how to fix this? And maybe difficult to say if it's worth it or not. In Norway, these engines are not common at all. Maybe I can explain what engine this is. So this is the VR6 engine, the first one, or actually it's the 2.9, the first one, you know, in the production cars. This is anyway the, the, um, the VR6 from the Mark III Golf. 2.8, engine code is AAA, and 174 horsepower from factory. This hasn't any modifications to it, other than this cover on the top. If any of you doesn't recognize this, this is from the Mark IV 12 valve. VR6. So this is not, the engine is not a Mark IV, it's a Mark III. So the, ev everything is stock. It's been running, I don't know, 190 for oh, 180 something when it was taken out from the donor car. And I've been driving it not a lot. And this is how it is now. Is this something to, to keep? Or should I just like, and now I'm talking about the engine block. If any of you have any trip tips and tricks to how to fix this this hole I would uh, really appreciate it when I first did the mistake of putting a too long bolt in a place where the long bolt shouldn't be it was only pure coolant which came out it was clear like coolant should the red one and I took it on the engine stand I don't think it's oil or is it oil I, 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 in my mind oil is uh, makes it dark but maybe it also makes you can see this is this something to keep or should i just make a table out of it or something i already have i'm not i'm not going to use this the the plan for this engine was never to use it in my mark one all-wheel drive uh, this was the engine which i came with my mark one it was not running at the time but i made it run for one season when i started then i started this uh, all-wheel drive build but i have an engine mount, an engine mount, which makes this mount to the Mark IV chassis. It goes from here and it goes around, so it looks, it mounts to the same as the Mark IV, you know, Golf, Audi TT, S3, A3, all of them. I have, you know, this spacer adapter plate to lower the compression. I have like a turbo, intake and i have a i'm pretty sure i have arp studs for the head or that's like the only thing i need to buy and i have a turbo manifold and i still have the wiring for this to be connected to the max ecu aftermarket ecu so my kind of long-term plan was to some at some point put this in some engine <laughs> put this engine in some car and run it like a uh, like, uh, very cheap type of build. If not, if it's not uh, something to spend time on. I can always get another block or maybe it's easier to just get the, or another spare engine or something, but then I'm not gonna spend any time on this engine. It was a short one today. Thank you for watching and until next time, bye.